Hi, and welcome to the next step in our hiring process about the phone screening interview. So we're actually moving down our funnel now and we're onto the phone screening interview stage. And for this, we're going to use our phone screening interview worksheet to conduct these interviews. But before we jump into that, um, we need to understand who we are looking for here, okay? Who we are looking for. Um, remember that we're not just looking for experience and education. Uh, very important to understand that. We're also validating the behavior. Um, and there's really no better way to spot the behavior, uh, behavioral profiles in general than through the hiring process. I really do think that, that um, our clients that have gone through our hiring process really get the best understanding of the DISC and dis dis behavioral profiles because you're starting to talk to so many different people and we're really learning how to pay attention to the people we're talking to, meeting, seeing, writing, um, and we're starting to learn what they look like. So they're get we're getting very good at spotting the profiles. And I don't think there's any better way to do it than go through the hiring process with multiple candidates where you really start to learn it. And I think you're gonna find you do as well too. Um, so very, very important. So we're not just looking and listening to their experience and, and, to, and to who they are as a person, but we are doing those things. But we're also trying to validate the DIS behavioral assessment through this process as well. And understand that's a lot we're trying to accomplish and we're really trying to conduct these calls in 15 minutes. Uh, 20 minutes is the maximum, but I want these to be 15 minutes because we're not all the way down at the bottom of the hiring funnel. So we're still filtering here, right? Um, so we don't wanna to take too much time. We should have a good number of applicants now. Um, so we're really only determining if we're willing to spend an hour with them at the next step, which is our in-person interview. Um, so we're not trying to determine on the phone if we were gonna hire this person. It's should I meet this person in person and spend an hour with them, that's it. Okay, so we're still just going step by step in the hiring process. So that's our goal here. We're gonna take 15 minutes to determine if we're willing to spend a full hour with them in person. That's the whole point of this call. That's our goal. It's not whether we're gonna hire this person. Very important to break that down. So when we schedule the phone interview, um, I like to see them all in a row um, so they see the same person. Um, I mean, again, at least in clusters, right? So maybe groups of five, so we don't get too exhausted. Um, so I would schedule them 30 minutes apart uh, as well. Um, so if you've got 15 minutes, then a 30 minute break. So let's say you schedule them at one o'clock in the afternoon, um, that's gonna be 15 minutes. And then I would schedule your next one for 1.45. Okay, so we've got a 30 minute break in between interviews um, at all times. So maybe on 45 minutes. Um, so that way you can take a break, look at your notes, relax, grab a drink of water, go to the bathroom, get your news sheet out and get ready for that phone call and knock through them. Um, it gives you some time to refresh, regenerate, and reflect, and write some very good notes on your phone screening interview worksheet about your last call.